A sense of being under siege pervaded the White House. Fueled by the leaks, the constant anti-war demonstrations, and intensifying criticism in the press. In this atmosphere of us versus them, Colson's office began an ever-expanding list of Nixon's critics, the enemies list. Its object was to screw our political enemies. Reporters and politicians, educators and entertainers were barred from the White House. Some were targeted for tax audits. Others were trailed by private detectives. And it was very shortly thereafter that Nixon authorized the plumbers, the creation of a special group to stop leaks, and they began to take extra legal steps and put into motion the mechanism which ultimately resulted in the downfall of the administration. The press has become so dishonest. The press, honestly, is out of control. And, you know, you can talk all you want about Russia, which was all a, you know, fake news fabricated deal to try and make up for the loss of the Democrats, and the press, press plays right into it. I want to find a friendly reporter. You used to say it was John. Are you a friendly reporter? Watch how friendly he is. Wait, wait, watch how friendly he is. Go ahead. I've been good to the entire campaign, Mr. President. Go ahead. There are people who are committing anti-Semitic acts or threatening to. You see, he said he was going to ask a very simple, easy question. And it's not. It's an important question. It's not. Not a, not a simple question. Not a fair question. Okay, sit down. I, I understand the rest of your question. Relative to other people running as a Republican. Quiet, quiet, quiet. See, he lied about he was going to get up and ask a very straight, simple question. So, you know, it's welcome to the world of the media.